Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to Need for Speed Unbound Volume 9. In this update, the main thing is Lockdown. Lockdown is a brand new game mode where we're in the map, in the free roam map. Not in free roam, but on the main map of the game. And we're in a group of three people. Two other people have joined us here. And in this game mode, we are fighting against four other groups, gangs, whatever you want to call it. So we'll have 15 people on this map duking it out, trying to accomplish their contracts. So contracts here is essentially objectives. So in this situation here, we've got the Racer Tech contract. So we need to successfully deploy Spike Strip or EMP against another vehicle. We'll earn 200, well, excuse me, 2,500 wrap by looting Pursuit Tech. And then while inside a lockdown zone, use an ESF shield for protection. So again, we'll get into a lot of that here in just a moment. So as we're driving around, I'll actually go to the map here. Again, it looks exactly like the normal map, and that's because, well, for the most part it is, but in a little bit here, it'll start being blocked off. We'll start seeing these little red squares start coming up, up around the map, and that will be where the lockdown zones are. So in lockdown, it is heat level 5, constantly. Uh, whether or not there are cops nearby will be a different story. But uh, part of this as well is you can actually uh, participate in races as well. Uh, I don't know offhand if uh, other players start them or if they just kind of start intermittently. But uh, occasionally you can actually join a race and see if you can complete some of your contracts that way. In this situation here, we're going to probably be looking at uh, the Looting Pursuit Tech or successfully deploying Spike Strip against other vehicles. Um, so let's get into a race and see how that goes. So here we are in a race. Again, it's just like any other race. Uh, you can actually tell over here off to the left-hand side, the little green circles will indicate that uh, some of our crew is actually in this race as well. And that's going to be pretty important because when power-ups are going off, uh, their power-ups, for instance, like EMP, spike ships, that kind of stuff, won't affect you. And they'll actually be really important coming on up here because we'll have all sorts of spike strips, all sorts of stuff coming around, and we'll be kind of getting in our way. And we really don't want to go over spike strips because we'll lose... What little speed we have with a speed class car. So we can see up here that there's an EMP and it looks like he's going to grab it before we are, unfortunately. But again, we still have a couple of laps here, even though we're in seventh place. We'll manage to actually grab the spike strip here. And hopefully, uh, maybe a cop or something will come around and we'll be able to utilize that to our advantage. Okay, let's see if we can line this up. See if I, uh, somebody ran over it or not. I don't think... I don't think anybody did, so we'll hold that off until the free roam. So part of this here is we'll see little cash pallets, per se, dotted around the map, and that will help us uh, in a number of ways. One being is when we finally leave this map after 24 minutes or thereabouts, uh, that will be the amount of bank that we earn. However, we'll see some impound lots that will actually cost an amount of bank to be able to open and be able to grab the cars inside. The one that I saw initially was about a hundred grand, so I don't know if that's going to be all of them or if that was just the one that I happened to see. Um, so we'll hopefully find one of those around here. But the big thing from this point is that there will be extraction trucks. Thanks. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. There will be extraction trucks that will be our way out of here. And we'll be looking pretty close here to see if we can find some of those. So if you look at the map here, we're entering kind of this reddish zone. This is not the lockdown itself. But it is letting us know that this is an area that will eventually become locked down if you're not careful. And that is, again, that heat level 5 area. So it looks like this extraction truck might have a little bit of competition here. I'm going to see if we can stay close enough to them. 
<laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> I think we might grab it. I think this is ours. <laughs> oh, it's lost. Oh. Oops. And we're wrecked. Oops. It's funny. Hey, thank you. So that's one of the things that you can do as well is uh, with your crew. It's a little bit more difficult when you're in a random online lobby is that uh, if you wreck, you can have some of your crew jumpstart you. So thankfully the rival crew didn't jack my car, which is kind of sweet that that didn't happen. Um, but yeah, here we are. Here is some black film zone. As things are getting really heating up now where we've got cops just everywhere. And then now we're escaping, so... <laughs> so the nice thing with the lockdown is that, with the lockdown zone at least, is that the rewards are higher. So you gotta really keep your eyes peeled for some of those rewards because you can get extra bank, you can get an extra rep, you can get some really cool looking cars versus just being out in this normal area. All right, so we'll see on the map these kind of little keys. The there are other vehicles dispatch. that we can Perfect. jack or swap to. So we'll swap to this. Clearing 600 LT. We can get our way out of here. Okay, so we lost the McLaren. We had to start over. We got busted here. So all I need to do now, part of the contract, is I got the ESF. So I got the shield. So I need to make my way over to the lockdown zone. And then we should be good. Okay, this area. might be the easiest part of the contract. Into lockdown. Using the ESF. We look like a bunch of morons down here. Three, two, one. And okay, look at that. We got it. So now we just need to wait for a truck and get the heck out of here. Alright, we got a truck 2,500 yards away. Ah. Uh, I get a feeling that it might be hotly contested, so we're gonna see if we can get even close and maybe get our way out of here, but with how these cops are going right now, I don't know if I'm even gonna make it. Ouch. Yes, they should. Nice. Okay, must be getting close to the truck. Bike strip up ahead, should stop this curb. Is anybody else around it? Oh, nobody is. Sweet. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Go, car, go. I don't want anybody else to come around here. Go faster, car, please. Oh, come on. This is painful. Oh, it's, it's my other crew, I think. No! I hate this game. <laughs> Yes, my teammate did it. We're out. We're out. Oh. Whew. Extracted. We beat our contract. We got all of our objectives. And now when we go back in, we can use A-level cars when we start out, which is going to be really nice because as you could tell when you're in a B-level car, it's just slow. And if you get close to a truck, it's just not happening. So there you have it. That's a brand new game mode of Lockdown in Need for Speed Unbound Volume 9. Uh, for those of you who had seen, yes, there are motorbikes. It's only exclusive to the Lockdown mode, as you may have seen on a map every now and again. Uh, it is an unlockable vehicle that they're super fast. They're really cool. So I would explore you guys to go find footage of those or more or less maybe even try it out for yourself it's a really fun game mode so please check it out again uh leave you, your thoughts your opinions of this game mode down in the comment section down below and of course if you enjoy this content make sure to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one again thanks so much for watching take care bye